Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to use menus in a web page without using JavaScript or cascading style sheet CSS. Once again, I repeat the topic how to use menus in a web page without JavaScript or CSS. In order to achieve the task, we should open Microsoft Expression Web 4. How to open Microsoft Expression Web 4? It's easy. Go to start and look for AM where you can see Microsoft Expression. Just click on the folder in order to expand it. When you click on the folder where you can see Microsoft Expression Web 4, just click on it in order to open it. So now go to File, go to New, and click on HTML page. Once again, I repeat the step. Go to File, go to New, and click on HTML. So now I am in split mode. Either you can change to design mode or code mode. Now I'm going to use split mode. Now after body tag, so I'm going to use H1 tag. Let us say my work page. And before that, I'm going to use HR, horizontal ruler. So, in order to create our line. So now you can see, now we created an horizontal ruler. This is called an horizontal ruler. And this is my page. So I'm going to using H1, that is a heading one tag. Let us say I'm going to align it on center. So after this, here I'm going to have some menus. So how to do the task? So let us say after body tag, I'm going to use menu. And then inside this menu, I'm going to use definition list. Let us say DL. I'm inside definition list, let us say I'm going to use DD, definition data, let us say. So inside this, we want to use an hyperlink tag. Since we are going to use some URLs, so just pick the URL, let us say www.google.com and click OK. So after this, just close the tag. So we need a display text, let us say Google. So after this, let us say one more tag, we are going to add that is hyperreference. Let us say pick URL. Let us say www.bing.com and click OK. Just close it. So display text will be Bing. And then another IP reference A. H R E F pick the URL let us say www.yahoo.com and click OK. Just close the tag and display text will be Yahoo. And one more we are going to add. Let us say A H R E F pick the URL. Let us say www.ask.com and click OK. Display text will be ask. Just close it. OK. So after this, if you need a space here, just give three space one, two, three, and then give one, two, three, then give one, two, three. 
So now save it, go to file and save. Let us say mypage.html and click OK. Whatever name you want to give right here, you can change the name. But followed by .html is an extension for a web page. Save it. Now, in order to preview it, just go to preview. Either you can use Chrome or Internet Explorer or any other browser you have installed in your PC. So now I'm going to use Chrome. Just click on Chrome and allow to open it. Now you can see this is a H1 and this is a horizontal line and this one is an horizontal line where you can see Google, Bing, Yahoo, Ask. When I click on Google, it will take you to Google. So now it takes you to Google. And then when you click on Bing, it will take you to Bing.com. Back. And when you click on Yahoo, it will take you to Yahoo. Okay. And when you click on ask, it will take you to ask.com. Okay. So now back to code. So now it's a very simple code where you can use as menu without using any cascading style sheet or JavaScript. I think you guys have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching this video.